Tonight at 5, a new request to move the man who's accused of committing the Delphi murders. One of Richard Allen's new attorneys says the defendant is now being held in conditions that make it impossible to represent him. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel says that new request includes some extraordinary details that now are raising some serious questions about how the state is treating Richard Allen. And he joins us now in studio. Well, Bob. this new motion was filed just this morning. It does include some disturbing allegations, but perhaps most interesting, Richard Allen's new attorneys are making claims that are nearly identical to complaints made by his previous attorneys. And those original attorneys were kicked off the case because the judge thought they were false. Robert Scremmen was appointed as a new attorney for Richard Allen in October, and he visited Richard Allen a few weeks later at the Westville Correctional Facility. He said Allen was unnecessarily shackled and chained in a manner resembling Hannibal Lecter, a convicted psychopath killer in a Hollywood horror movie. He said guards watched the meeting through a glass window, which made Allen hesitant to speak freely with his attorney. Scremmen said in December he visited with Richard Allen again after he was moved to the Wabash Valley Correctional Facility south of Terre Haute. He said the round trip from Fort Wayne took him 10 hours. And during that visit, Allen was locked in a room with a solid iron door. The attorney said he and Allen were forced to communicate through a small hinged 8-inch hole in that door. And prison staff instructed the attorney to remain at least 6 feet away from the door, which he said made it impossible to show Mr. Allen any videos or documents or discuss the case with him without raising our voices and almost shouting. He also said the prison used a video camera to monitor the meeting between the attorney and his client. He said during Allen's first two weeks at the prison, Allen received only two showers and had not been offered any recreational time like other inmates. Scremmen said in 25 years of practicing law, he has never seen visiting conditions like those he experienced while trying to visit with Richard Allen. For all these reasons, he says Allen is not being treated like other pretrial detainees. And he said keeping Allen at the Wabash Valley Prison will seriously, if not fatally, impact his ability to effectively represent Mr. Allen due to the sheer distance of travel and the unworkable visitation conditions. That's why Scremmen filed this motion asking Judge Francis Gall to transfer Allen to a county jail in either Allen or in Adams County. The judge has denied several earlier requests to move Richard Allen to a local jail. And when his former attorneys made those requests and presented evidence, the judge later accused them of making false claims, kicked him off the case, and appointed Scremmen to represent Allen instead. Now that the new attorney is making the exact same allegations and arguments, and even saying the arguments made by the previous attorneys have merit, it will be interesting to see how the judge responds. So when we see this development now today, Bob, does this raise questions about how the judge presiding over this case has been handling the case? Yeah, it does raise some questions for sure. And it also raises questions about her finding that Allen's previous attorneys made false statements to the court. Next Thursday, the Indiana Supreme Court will hear all about that because Allen is asking the court to reinstate his original attorneys and to replace Judge Gall. Now, we want to point out the other thing that raises big questions is information in this document that seems to support allegations that the killings of the two uh, Delphi teenagers were related to a pagan ritualistic sacrifice. That claim was first made mm -hmm. by Allen's original attorneys and the new attorneys say, that claim appears to have merit. I'll explain all that coming up later at 6. Yeah, so much to unpack mm -hmm. there. We'll look forward to your continuing coverage, Bob. Ooh, Thank see you, you soon. Thanks. Okay. You can learn more about that request to move Richard Allen to another prison by scanning the QR code here. That'll take you right to WTHR.com slash Delphi. We posted all of our past coverage of the Delphi murders case that took place nearly seven years ago. Now, if